Sally's baking addiction today. These are very accurate and they give a lot of detail, which I love. Um, because if you don't give a lot of detail, there's always like important steps that make or break your recipe. So she uses all purpose flour, which I also like because of accessibility. Um, not everyone has bread flour and not everyone else has um, like double zero flour or different specialty flour. So I like that it uses all purpose. Um, and you can make it without a blender or a mixer. I'm gonna use my mixer today though. Okay, so I'm making a coffee while I just wait for people to join me. We're gonna make pretzel bites. Um, and I've weighed out my ingredients. Get all the bubbles out. Almost. Perfect. I think. Close enough. All right. Now let's pour my coffee in. So if we start up higher and pour, it's going to force it down. And it's so pretty. And it's so pretty. And no messy. I left a video of me making a mess, but yeah. Mmm, so good. Okay, so let's start our puzzle bite. So first we have to do is activate the yeast. So we're gonna get our bowl out. And I've already pre-mixed out our ingredients, but you're gonna need warm water. So I just get water from my tap um, at warm setting. It, you should be able to touch it and it will be warm. And actually, this is cooling down. So I'm gonna get some fresh water, I'll be right back. We're using Sally's Baking Addictions recipe today. As I said, her recipes are just really accurate on how to make things. So I love her page. Um, this is one and a half cups of water, warm from the tap. Um, you should be able to touch it, it shouldn't be too hot. You don't wanna kill the yeast, you just wanna activate it. We're gonna sprinkle on our yeast. Um, you can buy the packets or you can buy this, this is cheaper. And if you bake a lot, this is what I would recommend getting. Um, so we're gonna sprinkle on our yeast. And we also have our sugar. And this is, what is it? I measured it out. It's a tablespoon of sugar. So we're just gonna sprinkle it on. And then we're gonna let it set for five minutes. So um, we are going to let it set for five minutes to let it foam up because the yeast right now is is being eaten by the sugar and the water and it's gonna foam up and it's going to um, allow our pretzel bites to get nice and poofy. So it out for me. I love Sally's Baking Addiction. Addiction. Her recipes are always accurate. Um, this isn't my recipe, but I've done it before. If you want to do wheat with it, do not mix all wheat because your pretzel bites will be hard. Um, so if you wanna make it like a whole wheat pretzel bite, mix like just like a third of a flour, whole wheat. Um, I've done that before too. We're just gonna do all white today and make it simple. Um, yeah, camera. I should show you what this looks like because it's a pain about the setup. Let's see if I can, no, I don't know how to do this. Okay, Let's see if I can just lean it starting to foam you can kind of see it if you don't get foam when you're making it toss it because you didn't activate the yeast or if it's too hot you killed the yeast. so either way it's not gonna work out for you I've seen recipes where they don't activate these and I don't know how that works because that's what I've learned making anything with yeast is the yeast has to be activated you can add salt, but if you add too much salt, it will also kill the yeast and make it less effective. Yeast likes a warm environment. <laughs> so here we go. Um, um, I was supposed to be at work and about 30 minutes before I was gonna leave, I got a text saying there's no school, the buses cannot start. So I am here and it is freezing outside. It is negative something. Not sure, but I'm not going out there. Um, I am making pretzel bites. They're gonna be so delicious. 
either cheese dip or like a mustard. I think I might dip it in my new Simon sauce. It's this stuff is delicious. Um, I wish I had energy. <laughs> I don't have a choice. So George, my son is two and he's home with me today because he has a temp, um, but he's rambunctious. And right now he's taking a nap. My six year old's downstairs and um, hi Kendra, how are you doing? I know, poor baby. He does not, he doesn't not, not look like he doesn't feel good. Um, so I don't know what his deal is. I'm gonna cover this up so the yeast can work faster. Trap that heat. Okay, can we have our little Yoda towel? <laughs> um, but I'm using my new stainless steel like little island I got. It was cheaper than the the wooden ones and I like it better because it's easier to clean. I might get some storage for underneath of it to store all my vegetables. We are going to beat on low speed and add in our salt, melted butter and flour. So I have salted butter. This says unsalted butter. So we're not gonna add salt because it already has salt in the butter. Um, it's a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of unsalted butter melted and slightly cooled. So because this is salted, we're not gonna add any more salt. Okay. And then we're gonna add in our flour. I think I might skip the blunt mix mixer today since I'm on live and it's loud. Let me get a spatula. This should work. So we're just going to mix it. And this is on low speed. So either way, we're going to mix it until the dough starts to form and pulls away from the sides of the bowls. And it says about two minutes. So we're just gonna mix for about two minutes until we get a dough to form. Making sure to scrape underneath because my bowls formed weird when we had coffee. Oh, yeah, okay. Make sure I didn't miss anything. It's hard to see because I have phone to sit up on my um, phone holder here. And so like, I can like see some of the text. I don't know how people do this, like live set up. <laughs> All right, oh, this works for me for cooking because I don't really want to touch my phone while I'm baking. All right, we're starting to get up. We're starting to get a dough. Okay, and it says if the dough is extremely sticky after a minute, you can add more flour. So I don't know if my dough is sticky yet because I haven't touched it, but next step is to knead the dough. So we're gonna get a lightly cut floured surface. So I'm gonna need to flour my surface a little bit. Got my all purpose flour right here. I love this like new workbench thingy. And it wasn't that expensive. It was like $130, which is like cheap. What are you making? I'm making pretzel bites. Go Hawks, yes. Unfortunately, we lost that last game. That was sad. So now, our dough, we're just gonna pull it out. Oopsies, I spilt my coffee. That's not good. Nope, I got a towel. Now I'm gonna knead this dough for two minutes. So when you knead, I don't know if anyone doesn't know how to knead, you're gonna put your palms it's on the palms. It's at least what I think it is. And you're gonna push down and just form. It's not really your hands, it's your palms doing the work. So we're gonna knead for two minutes. I'm gonna tell Alexa, Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. If you don't have Alexa in your kitchen, you're missing out. Hands-free, makes life easier. It is a little sticky. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit more flour to make it a little sticky. Just gonna knead the dough. Two minutes is not a long time to knead dough. When I make pizza dough, it's like 12 minutes, but 
but you have to rest it for like an hour because gluten. So like any, when I, people ask for gluten-free something with flour, it makes me laugh because that's all flour is about. Um, it does really need, it's really soft. I don't think it's supposed to be hard dough. That's why I only need it for like two minutes. Um, so you're creating air bubbles when you make dough. And like when you knead it a lot, it produces a lot of gluten. So my light come off, hold on a second. Okay. So it produces a lot of gluten and gluten is protein. So if you over knead it, you can always let it rest longer. And you'll know because it won't stretch. When, make, oh, when making something, my stuff won't rise. You. Okay, can you hold on, Ray? I'm on live. So when you're making something, you're, they won't rise. You probably didn't activate the yeast or you probably killed the yeast. So like a recipe, a lot of times when I see it, if it doesn't tell me that I need to activate the yeast, I don't trust it. Um, your water can come straight from your hot tap, and if you can touch it, it's the perfect temp. Um, instead of using a thermometer. Um, Alexa, stop. So we've kneaded our dough. I'm gonna get a towel. So um, if it's too hot, it will die. And if it's not hot enough, it will be wet. It will be, it won't activate so like what i was saying is like when you add the yeast earlier i added it yeah cinnamon rolls are so good rory we made them like last week so when you active you add the yeast you add the sugar you could also add honey because that's a sugar um you want it activated and if it doesn't foam throw it start again because you're just wasting your time um that's also why i like this stuff instead of like the packets now, because like if I mess up, I don't feel like as guilty because this is cheaper than the packets. So this is, how much do you get? You get four ounces. So buy this instead of the packets, it's way cheaper. You just have to measure it out instead. All right, I'm gonna get a towel to cover this and then we have to wait 10 to 30 minutes. So we'll try in 10, let me get a towel. Your own place is so nice. Now I live with my husband and my two kids and that's annoying sometimes because they make messes and I clean it up. Okay, so now we are gonna prep. Oh, that dang light. Um, my hot pad over here. I got this solely for the reason of filming. Let's see where we can set it up with. Cause the cord's not very long. Okay. Don't really want to move. I want the hot pad over here. So we're gonna move the dough over here. This thing's like twenty dollars. My husband's like, "Why did you buy that? We have a oven." I'm like, "Cause I like having freedom to move my space where I cook to film." So, all right, so get the directions out. So get your water bath ready. So we're gonna have water and baking soda. Okay, so we're gonna step, step five. Mix water and baking soda together in a large pot. Bring to a boil. Okay, so we're gonna work on bringing something to a boil. I'm gonna get my nice pot out. All right, so how much water do I need? And then we have to plug this in too. Water, 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 water. It says nine cups. So I'm making sure I follow the measurements because we're adding baking soda to it. Um, we don't want to add too much. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you love my content. Oh, thank you, Kendra. This has like been my hobby forever. Um, when I was growing up, like I would cook too, but it was a lot different. Probably because I didn't have as much stuff. 
<laughs> so I've collected things over like the last 12 years and I have like, <laughs> see if I can move this. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Like I have ways I've organized myself because it's a lot. Ah, that light. I hate that light, but I love that light. Okay, let's get some water for my bowl. Turn my light back on. Two cups coming in. All right, one more cup, here it is. Your five credits from your master's degree. Let's see if I can scroll through some of this. Oh, thanks, yeah, it's from my Hawkeye logo. Yeah, that is from um, Fathead. Really great company. Okay. I am debating if I should get more master's degree credit so I can make more money at my real, my full-time job. <sighs> okay. Cause right now I have master's plus 15 because I have my special ed endorsement and my early childhood degree. So let's plug this baby in. Oh yay, it stretches. Okay, let's heat this water up. We wanna bring it to a boil, I believe. Yep, bring to a boil. And then we have to add baking soda. So we need half a cup of baking soda. Mm. I am from Iowa. I live in Iowa and I am from Iowa. I lived out of state for five years. I lived in Texas and Kentucky. My husband was active duty military. Um, for five years and I lived through that and that was fun. It almost becomes part of your identity, but I try not to let it. Like some people it's their whole identity and it's really scary when like a wife's whole identity is wrapped up in their husband. I try not for that to happen. I saw plenty that did. So I try not, that was just like probably the most challenging part of that. Um but my identity keeps changing. So like really, I think at the core of your identity is like certain things that are beyond like what you do. And so I'm trying not to let what I do define me more so than who I am. <laughs> so I am a creative person. I always have been. Um, I am a kind person. I'm a thoughtful person. Yes. So figuring out who you are isn't necessarily what you do, but who you are. And I think sometimes people get that confused. Um, from Target, and I'm just thrilled about them. They're so cute and they were cheap. Like a whole set, it was like under $10 from Target. I'm so excited. They're so pretty. It's the small things that make me happy. So baking soda. Do half a cup into my water. Cause this is what is gonna get, make it into pretzels. I have like four different kinds, but it seems like they disappear. So these ones are just mine. Like someone will use them for the dog food or something else. Okay. So we should check our dough. The Sharp Knight Pizza Cutter, a bench scraper, cut dough into six, six equal pieces. So you can eyeball this, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then you're gonna sprinkle the flour with surface of flour. And then you're gonna shape it into a 20 inch rope. And then we're gonna cut into like one and a half to two inch pieces to bake. Um, after we cut it, we're gonna let it rest. So, so the gluten can relax. It's from Sally's Baking Addiction. And that's my go-to for anything baking wise because she has really thorough instructions. Like for this, it's not three pages. It's two pages long to make pretzel bites. Yes, I love her stuff. Um, I say why mess with something good when it's still good. 
Um, it's very thorough. And then she also gives you like notes on how to like, like you want to add cinnamon sugar, this is how you do it. We're just gonna make regular, cause that's what I want. Um, I'm sure Rory's gonna be, my daughter is gonna be thrilled to eat these. So, you can make them. Get, you have, if you have flour, yeast, baking soda, like the basics at home, you can make this. This doesn't require anything special. And it's pretty quick. Okay. Now we're gonna get a knife. Knife, we're gonna cut it up. I said six, right? Yeah, six. Just gonna cut it up. Okay. Okay, we're gonna roll it. Twenty inches. So, like, what a ruler is about here. That's 12, so we need 20. So we need to probably over about here. So we're gonna roll it out so we get to about there. And you can tell, look, this is why you know the gluten's not rested enough because when I'm stretching it out, it keeps pushing back in. So I might, this is why like you have to rest it is because the gluten is nice and tight. Okay. Okay, so now, well, yeah, it's about 20. Okay, now we're gonna cut some bites. Try to make them even, so they cook even. I'm just eyeballing it. Look good. So, I just eyeballed it because I, I do everything. Okay, now, what about the other ones? I love baking. Like, I like making bread. I want to learn more. I, um,. I want to learn how to make sourdough. Like, but I feel like that's like a whole different ball game, not ball game, but like there's so much involved in making sourdough. We can, we can do a live together sometime. I just haven't, I don't go live very often. It makes me nervous. <laughs> I had to prepare to go live today because it made me really nervous. Okay, partly because I know you're not supposed to have kids in your lives and I have two children that are rambunctious and don't really like to listen when I say like, don't get in my life. Right now you're, my six year old is busy watching TV. Oh, thank you. I'm glad it's relaxing to watch. Okay. That one looks good. Let's squish it up a little bit. There we go. Are my water is almost to the point where it's boiling. It's like a soft boil. All right. Sticking together already. Okay. Yeah, I just, I kind of feel awkward on live. Um, I see people go live all the time that are my friends on TikTok and I'm like, more props to them. I just, like, okay, I'll do it occasionally. <laughs> um, but instead I really had to prepare to do this. Like, I was like, so we're gonna measure things out. And like, I've made this recipe before. So like, I don't feel nervous. Like I know what I'm doing. It has to be something I know what I'm doing with. Okay. All right. 
And with this, you can also make it whole wheat, as I was saying. If you add in um, whole wheat, though, don't make it all whole wheat or it will be hard. <laughs> yes. The next Rachel Ray, all right? No, I'm just joking. All right, let's cut this up. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Aw, thank you. All right, so our water bath is almost boiling. Why isn't it? Yeah, it's boiling. Okay. So we're going to place eight to 10 at a time for about 10 to 15 seconds. Um, you don't want longer or they could be metallic tasting. So I need to get my spoon. I do have that ready. So I actually got this at the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. The baking soda is what makes it into a pretzel. I don't know the chemical reaction to that. I need to do some research. But I know the baking soda is how it becomes a pretzel. So, I know a lot about gluten, but I don't know a lot about the baking soda. I'll figure that out. This was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. It's awesome for anything fried. It's awesome for anything you wanna scoop out for obvious reasons, um, and it was a dollar. So not everything has to come from a expensive store um, or Amazon. All right, we're gonna top drop in eight to 10 of these. Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I didn't think this part through. I need something to put it on. Hold on. So what are we gonna bake this in when we're done? That's a good question. Oh, bake for 15 minutes. So, what's the temp, lady? 400 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna put down our silicone baking mats and then we're gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna, I should've done this a while ago. Oops, 400 degrees. I'm out of parchment, but no need to worry. We got these. So these are my favorite. If you don't have a set, get one. If you like to bake. My mom doesn't have a set of these. And I need to buy her a pair. <sighs> because <sighs> I hate cleaning pans. I hate cleaning. Okay. I've learned to do it. We're gonna put one of these down with my pencil wipes. Here they are. We're just gonna set them over there. We'll put them, put them in the oven when the oven reaches 400. Mm -hmm. um, I've been trying to organize my house. It's really hard when you have two kids roaming around. Yes, it is. I feel like someday if I can hire a, a person to clean my house, like a house cleaner, I will. But right now we can't really afford that, so. My mom did that when we were kids just for survival. Um, I think they just made it work. But it was only like once every like month I think she had someone come. This dough's a lot more rested, I can tell. So important to rest your gluten. Another reason I like stainless steel, look, I can cut on this. Not a big deal, it's mine, I don't really care. So you have three days to eat these things. With a family of four, I don't think they're gonna last, but like a day, so. 
pizza dough from scratch is the best, period. I like double zero flour with bread flour because of the gluten. See so, you, we got 15 minutes and the pretzel bites will be done. And then we have this next set to put in the water bath and then to bake. The Peterson lady, she says, if you're not looking back on your old videos and you're not cringing, you're doing something wrong. And I believe that because like, I think the only way to grow is for you to be your own worst critic. So like, I am very critical of my videos and like, I have posted a video and it's got flopped and then edited it, just like tweaked it and it takes off. So it's sometimes the difference between these minor tweaks in a video editing process that make your video take off. Like, and I've seen some creators on here that I'm just like, their video should take off, but there's a few tweaks they haven't made. And so their videos just like, they have like a thousand followers. And I'm like, your video could just, your content's great. Like, it's just a few tweaks. So if you haven't found your niche, keep trying. Like try different things until you find something that you like to do. Cause otherwise you're gonna get burnt out really quick. Yes, I had a different niche in like the teaching world. And then I kind of got like realized that there's too many people out there that hate on teachers because of just the world we live in that I didn't want to deal with that. So when I made a food video and it was just kind of like, oh, I was like, this is it. This is the way I'm taking this. So now I don't have to deal with any of that. And if you're a teacher, you probably have dealt with some of that. Like there's people that will hate on your account, even if you have nothing wrong on it. That's just how they are. Um, I don't know why people are so negative. I am not a negative person. So, okay, we're gonna check on these bites. Okay. So I don't know if you've seen this stuff yet. It's amazing. Um, I literally could drink it. It's a mustard sauce. So I figured this would be perfect with pretzel bites. Um, this is the original. They have a spicy and they have a truffle. I say, why mess with a good thing? Make an original. And it's like so good. It has like vinegar in it and brown mustard and soybean oil, lemon juice, garlic, dill, like just a bunch of really good stuff. And it's vegan and gluten-free. Not that I care about that, but some people do. So. Oh, eat my pretzel bites with the mustard. Oh my God, they're perfect. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh they look so good. I'm so excited. Oh, pretzel bites, I'm so excited. They look so good. All right, we're gonna drop some of these in so we can get them in the oven and we're gonna eat. All right, it's eat time. I got Simon's secret sauce. The mustard sauce. Worth it. Mm. It's so good. Mm. It is your sauce. It's really good with pretzel bites. It is addicting. <laughs> Thank you. It's super, super delicious. Mm. Pretzel bite. I'm gonna put some salt on top of these. Mmm. Do I like my pretzel salty? Two things on Christmas! Oh, baby pigs. I love pigs. Oh, on Christmas? Oh. Is this that we were doing? We haven't used these yet. We haven't used these yet. Hi, Heather! 
You said we were gonna use I know. So I have <laughs> these really cool Lego molds. And I haven't decided what to do with them yet. I know, I know. And Jello hasn't called me yet to work together. I know. What? Pretzel bites. You can't make pretzel bites out of these. <laughs> they won't hold their shape, dude. So. I know, I you know. You need to order these. Oh my God, Heather. These would go viral on your kids' posts. I know, I know. I need to use them. I know, I know. What should I make in them, Marie? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> I should make chocolate with these. That's what the six-year-old thinks. Hi, I'm the six-year-old. I'm her doctor. Hi. <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh my god! Ice cubes! Yes! I can make like a Lego drink. Yeah. Mmm. Coffee flavored Lego cubes. You're silly. I know! I have another one! I have another one! Lego eye igloo. Oh, that'd be fun. I know. I just know there's so many possibilities with these. With my I Lego know, trays. I know. What? Frozen hot chocolate. Frozen hot chocolate? Yeah. You put hot chocolate in it and then you put it in the freezer. Mmm. I was just thinking. <laughs> And then once you suck it, it will taste like hot. I was just thinking how we could play with our food. Chocolate would melt. Jello may work, but it would be gooey. Mm. And when you make jello like these, you have to use less water. So it's like a thicker jello. Well, I think my idea for the hot frozen hot chocolate was mm. great. You fill it with hot chocolate on it. And, and then you freeze it. And then you put it in the freezer. And you wait overnight. So we're gonna have a hot chocolate Lego drink. We top it with whipped cream. So it'd be a frozen hot chocolate. No, a hot like chocolate. Like serendipity. No, a hot chocolate smoothie. Love the confidence, yep. I guess they're Yay! a hit. She's eating them. Mm. Hot chocolate smoothie. <laughs> but we have to do it tomorrow because we have to wait overnight for it to freeze. You have to wait for it overnight? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think she's gonna eat them all. Oh my gosh, she took off with the whole plate. <laughs> 